What if I told you that dreams could connect you to realities not even imaginable in the real world? Would you believe me? Richard. Richard. Life could change in an instant. Death could strike at any moment. The average person only uses 10% brain power, which results in four total stages of sleep. However, if you have the ability to use 100% power, there's theoretically unlimited stages. Exterminators. People hired by the province government tied the bodies they hired Victor to test on. It's crazy what they'll do to cover up their mistakes. They say matter cannot be created nor destroyed, but what does that mean for death? I'm sorry for your loss. In other news, an anonymous source claimed to have witnessed a trade-off of a body for money. What do you think about this, Christine? Well, Angela, being honest, I think our province has gone to shit. After that child brain testing situation, I knew we weren't headed in the right direction. Exactly. It must take a twisted man to modify people's brains. I can't imagine what it must be like for those kids he tested on. Well, that is if they're alive and he didn't kill them off. When Victor thought that he was following province guidelines, he had no clue what he was creating. Hi, Trent. Does he have Richard? The exterminators have Richard. What about the girl? Don't worry. I already assigned Liv to Arthur and have someone going after him. Okay. Well, let's go. I'll get you the best damn deal out there. Come on. You know I'm good for it. James, cut me a break. Come on. James, listen to me. I told you I can handle this. Come on, you know I'm good for it. All right, all right. Okay, I'm glad we could come to some sort of agreement with this. Shit! If you have a modified brain, a serious injury could lead to a placement in the void, and Victor had no clue. Once you enter the void, there's no telling what's real anymore. The objects you own, the people you love, and the thoughts you have. Come on, just work with me, Arthur. I'm simply trying to help you. Arthur is going down the same road that Richard did, so you better start explaining right now. What a pity. Victor! I don't know what to tell you, Liv. Maybe you should have done a better job of looking after him. Don't. Put the blame on me. You forced him on those missions. It was repayment for raising him. You messed with his brain, Victor. The only reason I help you is because I care about him. Listen. Liv's on to us. We need to move forward with the plan right now. You just heard Demise by the Outlaws. What y'all think? Now for a little change in mood, here's the Symphonics with their new never-before-heard single, Daydream. Keep paving your way to greatness right here on 92.3 SDR, your favorite sleep station. <laughs> begin 
to suffer layered dreams, working your way closer to the end. Come to kill me? You better give me a damn good reason why I shouldn't. Because he can't. The record say you went off the grid after the drug dealer bust. Your mind's playing one final trick on you, Arthur. Every dream death and you're one layer closer to the beyond. Don't worry, though. You'll be there soon. Revenge comes to all of us. But sadly, everything in a dream is a figment of the imagination. When you die, your brain can still be active for a short amount of time. But in the dream world, that could be hours, or even days. Before you hit the unknown, those who utilize more brain power hit the void. A place where powerful minds go when the body dies. A final chance to bend reality and fix your death. Arthur, I know you can't hear me, but I'm sorry I never told you that I work for Victor. Thank you for everything, Arthur. Thank you for everything. Is he dead? Yes. The girl's next. Very good, Trent. Very good. The void is that final connection to the real world. It's like a black hole, a jump through time, a way back. Arthur will be back soon, as I was in his place not long ago. That is, only if he puts his mind to it.